So tonight I'm making myself some crab legs. I'm only cooking dinner for one, for me, myself, and I tonight. And um, I'm going to take this opportunity to make myself some crab legs. Nobody else in my family likes crab. So I don't have it too often, but tonight's the night. So today I'm going to make some sweet chili crab legs. Um, we're going to throw a bunch of garlic in there and some onions and some sweet Thai chili sauce. That's what makes it the sweet chili. Of course, we're going to throw a few sticks of butter. <laughs> Maybe not a few, a couple, because I'm only making a little bit just for me. Um, I'm not making anything else besides the crab legs. I don't want to get too full. Um, I know I'm going to miss the sausage and the potato and the corn. I know I'm going to regret it. But um, the last few times I've been making crab, I've been making it like the regular seafood boil way. And I really miss this way. So, so let me go ahead and gather all of my ingredients and I'll show you guys how I make it. So guys, here are my crab legs. I've already cleaned them. I took a little scrub brush and scrubbed them down, girl. You gotta scrub them down. Well, I do because I use my teeth to crack them. So I wanna make sure that the crab is nice and clean. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this in the fridge until I'm ready to throw it in my pot. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and make my crab legs in this big wok. It's nice and deep and wide, perfect for this. So I started off by melting one stick of butter in this wok. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in my half an onion sliced. So guys, I'm gonna let these onions cook down in this first stick of butter. You don't want your heat too high because you don't want it to burn. You don't want this to cook too fast. So go ahead and put it on a low medium. Next, we're gonna add in a couple of tablespoons of minced garlic. You guys, I absolutely love garlic. I probably could add it in more. We're gonna let that garlic warm up for a few seconds. Next, we're gonna add in some pickled ginger. Now, I've never added pickled ginger to this sauce before. I just had a bunch of pickled ginger left over from making Beloved sauce so many times, which I absolutely love. So um, I decided to add it to this sauce and it was a great addition, you guys. If you don't have it, don't worry about it, but if you do, definitely add it in. It, it just makes the flavor pop. Next, I'm gonna add in the rest of my butter. I'm gonna squeeze in the juice of one large lemon. I'm gonna add in some sweet chili sauce. A little bit of sriracha for heat. It all depends on your spice level. I added, um, I added in two tablespoons, but I probably could have added in more. But just start at two tablespoons and build your way up to your liking. Now this sauce is gonna be pretty thick, so you do wanna thin it out a bit with a little bit of water or broth. And y'all already know seafood is not seafood without some obey, so I went ahead and added in a couple of tablespoons of that. Next, I'm gonna add in a pinch of red pepper flakes, a couple of teaspoons of paprika, and some salt and pepper. Now this is just the base for the sauce, you guys. Add a little bit more of this, a little bit more of that, but this is how I like it. So now guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and add in my crab legs. Yes, honey, we are gonna cook them in the sauce so it can soak up in them crevices and them cracks and be delicious. And add in my parsley. This crab is just marinating in this butter. <laughs> It is actually done, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and plate it up for you.
course, this has been sitting here forever, so it's not going to be as hot as I want it to be. But I'm going to add a little bit more of the butter sauce for sopping. <laughs> And there's so much flavor on here. Look at that. Look at all that flavor, girl. Just wanna lick it. And girl, I ain't got no napkins. I ain't got a lick of paper towels. This is so good. Mm. You guys, I'm not a real big fan of king crab. I know it's like the opposite for most people. People don't like snow crab. <clears throat> I feel like king crab has too much of a seafoody taste. <laughs> and I'm not a big seafood person. I just love me some crab legs. Dungeness crab, I really don't like it much. If somebody just gave me a bunch of Dungeness crab claws, maybe. But I, I can't eat no crab body. I can't do that. If you give me a crab with the body on it still, Mm -mm, mm -mm. Just give me the legs, girl. I know the body has a lot of meat, but no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Mm. Some people just don't understand mukbangs. <laughs> so if you're like, oh, I watch mukbangs on YouTube, or I want to do mukbangs, but they just look at you like, what the hell is a mukbang? And I can see why it kind of sounds sexual. I've always been someone who liked to watch someone eat way before mukbangs, y'all. I'm talking about way back in the day, <laughs> way back in the day when I, since I was a teenager. Oh no, I know I got something in my face. I feel it. Mm -mm. See, this is why I can't personally do mukbangs because I don't want to be sitting here with all kinds of grease and stuff on my face. I'm not into that. And I don't have any napkins, y'all. I am struggling trying to get into this crab claw. But I see all this juicy meat waiting for me, honey. I see all this juicy meat. Put that there. Empty that. Are you guys ready for this bite? Cause I am. <laughs> Mm, claw meat is the best. So sweet. Um, you guys. I really don't like the white part, like the body part, like this part. I really don't like that part with the crab. I only like the legs. Squeeze some lemon on there. Cause I have not even used this lemon. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Let's go ahead and squeeze some lemon on there. Let's go ahead and give it a good sopping. I don't know why I'm using my left hand. I'm not left handed. Mm. So guys, I want to thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. Now, try this recipe, you guys. It's super easy, only a few ingredients. It's so delicious. You still get that sweet, garlic, chili, spicy. It's so good, you guys. If you like this type of video, go ahead and leave me a comment or thumbs up the video or both. And if you like this type of content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I plan on bringing more and more of this type of content. I want to get better at this YouTube game. I want to grow my channel. I want to bring you guys better content. So I've been learning slowly but surely. And I have to stop procrastinating, honey. You have to stop procrastinating. Stick in there with me, okay? <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah.